Today we will be creating new outfits. Ah, it's probably my favorite thing to do. And while I was going to just kind of explain to you what to do um, and kind of give you formulas for putting together outfits, which I still will do. Excuse me, excuse me, lady. Um, which I still will do, but um, I thought that I would show you. And then I'll also like post some pictures after the live on outfit combinations that I put together. Um, and I took pictures of them and I'll post them in the comments or like on the, in the group, just so you guys can see those. Um, so, yeah, gonna wait a little bit. Hey, Natalie. <laughs> gonna wait just a couple more minutes to see people come in. You see my dress form here. I, I got props for days over here. Um, so, I'm ready. <laughs> I think it's going to be fun. And then you guys can get different ideas or new ideas. Um, so, let's start. I'll start. There's a replay. People will watch when they can. <laughs> I'm just talking to my friends. That's all. Um, <laughs> oh, awesome. That's actually multitasking. Good job. Um, so today we'll be talking about creating formulas and I'm checking over here for notes because I don't, I can't even tell you like how I got this like set up here is girls gotta do what a girl just gotta do. It's just, I just gotta do what I gotta do. Um, so, <laughs> so putting together formulas, we already talked about, um, your foundations which all you guys have already gone through your wardrobe and by the way we are out in the light now not in my closet like we were yesterday <laughs> so it's kind of dark but um so you've already gone through your wardrobes and looked at your, your basics your foundation pieces to see what you have what you need um and of course the things that you need you don't necessarily have to go out and get right now just work with what you have right now because that's what this is about it's refreshing your wardrobe and thinking of using those items in new ways and putting them together in different outfits that you had not thought of before so um you have your foundation pieces and those are all your connecting pieces so doesn't matter what color you wear what pattern you wear you have these basic neutrals that will pull everything together um, and if your foundation is firm your foundation is good the rest of your wardrobe will be fan tablets um, then we went into my closet yesterday and we talked about different ways to put clothes together how to shop your wardrobe what you currently have and different ideas on how to put new outfits together so that it feels to you like, oh, I have a whole new wardrobe. I don't have to go and purchase anything. And then also thinking outside the box, thinking of how you wear something and you just wear it that way all the time. And now thinking of how you can wear it differently or what else can you put it together with. Um, patterns, mixing patterns, mixing colors that you never thought of putting together before. Um, just going through and sampling, you know, we talked about it yesterday. So there's your recap. You're welcome. Go look at the, the videos. Um, <laughs> now we're going to, I'm sorry, I'm blind from here. It's like way over there. So if you see me coming in, it's just so I can read comments. <laughs> um, now we're going to talk about formulas, which you can use a formula to put it together. So I'm giving you some formulas. But, um, and this is for those people that are just like, just tell me what to wear. Just tell me how to put it together. I don't know. I'm not that creative. You know, like I have probably what, four? Mm, yeah, like four, four formulas for you to put things together. And then hopefully that's just the base of putting them together. And then you'll start to experiment and create your own wardrobe so that it is to fit, so that your wardrobe fits you and speaks your um, personality, your character. And people just know who you are as you walk down the street. And I know people don't walk like this, but yes. <laughs> I 
I've never seen anyone walk like that. Okay, so let's talk about formulas first. The first formula is a basic and a statement piece. And when I say statement piece, that could be anything that's printed, that could be any bright color, um, something that just really pops. And so the it is the um, the star of the show, if you will. So one of the things that I like to do for um, my statement pieces are not necessarily within my clothes. They're usually um, the accessories that I wear, like either a scarf or a necklace or something like that. So one thing, I'll show you my favorite outfit and I usually get compliments on it. Um, so I, and it's really simple. Like I get compliments on it and I'm like, really? Okay, thanks. Um, so I will use, come here lady, this chambray shirt. And right now I'm not closing or buttoning anything up. You guys just got to use your, use your imaginations as far as like, as far as that's concerned. Okay. Maybe I'll do the top button cause I got to do something. Um, so I use a chambray shirt. And this really is a staple for a lot of um, like casual, um, casual outfits or, you know, cause it can be dressed up or dressed down. Uh, business casual, it's very, very classic. So I will do that and I switch between three pair of pants, okay? So, of course, my khaki pants. So, we got the khaki pants here, this, and I'll just, because we're MacGyver and stuff today. Yes, that worked. Um, so, we got this, this, and then what I would do is throw on A chunky necklace or a statement piece okay so you have so it's very simple and I'm, I'm gonna move her a little bit closer so that you can see what's happening here so it's very simple but because of this one piece I think I really don't think that people are complimenting me on my outfit I really think it's that they're just complimenting me on this necklace <laughs> But, um, so it's really comfy. It's really casual. Um, but at the same time you look put together just by throwing this on and it really kind of looks effortless. Same way. Yeah. What? <laughs> right. Um, so another way that I would, you could dress this up by wearing, um, like heels, a sandal heel. That would be like a little more dressy, a little more dressed down, would be a booty, right? Um, and then like, for real chillaxed, just throw on some sneakers, sneakers with it. Sneakers, gym shoes, where are you from? Do you say gym shoes or, or sneakers? <laughs> I am originally from, or you can't even go with the black. I'm originally from Chicago, so we say gym shoes. <laughs> I don't know. Tennis shoes. Ah, see? Sneakers, tennis shoes, gym shoes. Yeah, it depends on where you're from, right? I don't play tennis, but I do go to the gym, and I played gym when I was in school. <laughs> play gym? What? <laughs> All right. So this is just one, one idea of basics with a statement piece. So you can also change up what your statement piece is. So I'm going to leave that chambray shirt there. I'm going to take these out and sub in my camo pants because camo, hello, camo pants. And then I'm just going to do a simple necklace. I'll do this one. So
So it's the same, same effect. You can use the same shoe, like any of the other sh the uh, uh, shoe options that I gave you. Um, Hi, Kathy. <laughs> um, any of the shoe options that I gave you, the, the sneaker, tennis shoe, gym shoe, <laughs> black or white, or the booty, or the, um, the sandal heel. But you can also do, and those were with black or brown, but you can also do a black booty too, like with these. So, or a black sandal. I like the blue, or I mean, I like the brown because it kind of camel kind of color because it stands out a bit. So this is just with basics. And then the other way I'll wear these is this chambray. Now, this is three outfits that we have right now. And we just use one shirt. One shirt. One basic shirt is with jeans, black jeans. Um, the chambray shirt with black denim, you know, that stands out, that pops. And then I would actually wear, um, I usually wear these with them. Unless it's cold, but you know, it's Cali, so. But if it's cold, then I'll just wear my brown booties. So that is just with, that's three outfits with just one top. So, and that's just using your basics and doing a statement piece. That is your formula. Basics and the statement. So the statement could also be the shirt. So let's get rid of the chambray. And let's work with this flat. Flat shirt. This is a blue, kind of like a muted red. So it kind of looks pinky and black and white is in there. All right, so we got this. Now I've worn, I've actually worn my statement necklace with this. So it does work, but I think it works because the statement necklace has that blue in it. And so if I did that, then I would definitely dial, uh, dial down <coughs> the rest, just jeans. And I normally do a front tuck that the rest is out that's just I like it <laughs> um, but yeah so that's one outfit so you have two pieces here like okay so plaid might not be a statement piece for some people but it is for me <laughs> because it's busy and I like I like more um, plain you know solid colors because I like you know, a little bit more minimalistic kind of look. So a plaid to me is um, more of a statement piece. So I have a couple of those in my in my wardrobe. But yeah, so you have this and it's just a plaid shirt and a pair of jeans, but then you have your statement piece, right? So um, because this shirt has blue and black in it, I can also wear it with the black jean and get away with that. Um, so that is formula number one, basics and a statement piece. If you have any questions or anything, <laughs> um, oh, thanks. <laughs> I love my, I love those shoes. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, make sure you pop them in. I'll try to make sure that I'm paying attention so that I can answer them. Okay. So the next thing that I have is mixing textures, Mix, mixing textures and mixing patterns. Okay. So I have the perfect one for that. I have a couple of them here. So I have this skirt. Um, it's 
like a feline skirt. <laughs> no, no turtlenecks. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, so this is a like turquoise. And remember I said that this was my, um, my accent color, like the red and the turquoise. These are my accent colors. And if you can see, it's pretty textured here. That's what I love about this skirt. So this is a pencil skirt um, <laughs> that I made. <laughs> um, so let's do this. Yes, I actually use this dress form for more than show, um, dressing things up or showing people. Use it for sewing. Okay, so let's use this texture skirt. Um, and we're gonna mix it with a pattern. This little cutie. I like this shirt. So simple, so chic. I don't know why I'm putting it on this way because it's gonna take me forever to take it off. And let's just do this. <laughs> use my pins. So what I would normally do is, of course, you know, tuck this in because this is more of a high-waisted um, skirt. Um, and high waist doesn't work for everybody. Um, you really have to understand what your body um, shape is and how clothes work on you. Like if you have a short torso, high waist probably won't work. short torso it might make you look shorter I think um, yeah so this is and like yeah these are dots and this is a fabric but it goes together and you wouldn't necessarily I'll move this closer so you can see the pook duts um, and you wouldn't necessarily say like oh let me get a black and white polka dot shirt to go with this this skirt but you, you know, like you're mixing patterns and it can totally bring something new out for you. So another one, what you got me? So I'm not hanging these back up, I'm just <laughs> tossing them off to the side. Don't mind me, <laughs> just, just look. <laughs> okay, so another one we're going to work with here is, and we're talking about texture and pattern, is that sequin skirt that I showed you guys yesterday. Another item that I actually made. Um, here. Whew, I don't know how many of these I'm going to show y'all because this is, <laughs> this is some hard work. <laughs> Um, get in there. Okay, I do want to show you guys like the varieties and stuff like that so that you can get some kind of, you know, open up for different ideas. Um, so remember we did a sampling with this skirt yesterday and went through and so it can definitely go with this tank top. Again, I would tuck it. Oh yeah, that's so much easier. Oh gosh, why do I make things harder than they need to be? Um, so I would definitely tuck. I need an assistant, guys. So definitely, if you want to sign up for that, that'd be great. Um, <laughs> and then I think. Oh, I did not bring. But I didn't bring out, so remember I told you about the duster yesterday. I like wearing the skirts like that are mini, midi, or uh, knee length with the longer duster. So the duster comes to about here, and that's super cute. But today, because I did not pull out the duster, I'm going to show it with this moto jacket. So this is a way to incorporate a bit of edge which is 
my life. I'm a rebel. <laughs> or I like to think so. Um, and so you can totally do this. Either go with there's two different because this jacket has um, silver grommets on it the grommets are silver you don't want I would not wear like gold jewelry with it um, I mean if that's how you want to roll I guess you could but um, <laughs> do you <laughs> if you're into mixing jewelry um, sometimes it doesn't stand out and sometimes it does. So it just depends on, you know, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish with your, um, outfit. So, I don't know why this jacket is having a hard time. There we go. So you can do this. And so it's taking this very, like the sequin skirt, which is, you know, feminine and giving it a bit of edge with just a simple tank top and a motor jacket. I don't know if this is anyone else's style, but I definitely, as you can see, of course, because it's in my closet, but this is more my style. Um, if you are not like a, a, a edgy person, then like a, a, the cardigan will work well. Um, and then for warmer weathers or warmer climate you can just wear the tank top you can just wear the tank top and maybe a cute little like statement necklace and that's simple and you still look put together um you can wear uh this is kind of a it's a pito but it's also like a sandal there's holes in it or whatever so a little bit warmer weather um you can also wear a dressy boot which i do have i just don't have out here um so you know oh yeah i love that jacket let me tell you so i got it from marshall's i don't know where you are and if you have a marshall's but i got it for 60 bucks and it's it's a leather jacket on sale whatever so anyway always looking for the sale I'm just saying okay so that was mixing um, mixing patterns and mixing different types of fabric um, and making sure that when you do your found uh, your foundation pieces they don't all have to be just plain old like play around with the fabrics play around with like lace or you know, like sequin or, you know, the, the crochet kind of knitting that, that goes on. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> Maybe you'll have to find someone to ship you one. <laughs> um, but yeah, play around with the fabrics because that's what's going to take it to a different level. Like um, not just a plain black shirt, maybe, or a black t-shirt or a black blouse, maybe do a peplum, you know, just depending on, you know, like if that's your style or, you know, that. So, okay, I'll put these. I don't have to clean up so much stuff later. Uh, <laughs> um, so the next formula for you is, um, monochrome. Don't be afraid of it. <laughs> um, I know Suzanne isn't when she's wearing it like all black, <laughs> but she can do monochrome in other colors too. <laughs> okay, I have a thing. Do I even have like monochrome um, outside of black? We could try it with gray. <clears throat> Let's try it with gray. So I have some gray jeans. And then I have gray sweater. So this is just like, uh, it's a thin sweater. Um, so it's thinner, thinner than a sweater, kind of, mm, is it thinner than a, I think it's thinner than a sweatshirt too. But um, very casual, comfy, 
kind of shirt. And it's gray. And we have gray jeans. This I would totally just, this is kind of more my everyday. <laughs> this is more my everyday look here. Just wearing jeans for my life. Legend them. So just, and I also have like gray, gray shoes. Um, and then again, I would do, if I really wanted to, where did I put it? Um, if I really wanted to like, um, so this is probably what I would wear while I was in the house. <laughs> and then when I went out, I would probably just add the necklace to it or probably a long one to bring um, the attention to the center here for a, a line down the middle. It's, it's, a, it's a thing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's a whole different class. <laughs> or even just a... And there you have it. And you can wear that with, um, because you're all monochrome here, I use that to kind of, you know, do a little pop. You can do either um, white gym shoes or black gym shoes, <laughs> gym shoes, sneakers, tennis shoes, or you can even just wear a black booty or gray booty after it if you want to do monochrome all the way around. Or you can even wear a nude. I don't have nudes because I don't. Um, but I have gray. So, yeah, you can do that. And then, let's see. So, those are just, that's monochrome. Then you can do a basic, remember I said that sometimes my statement pieces are my pop of color. So um, you can do a bit your basic outfit and then like add pops of color. So sometimes I'll just do like what I did with the chambray and a pair of jeans or the black jeans and then I'll, my pop of color would be my skirt. Hot pink lipstick, yes. Um, my, did I say my pop of color would be my skirt? No, would be my purse. Did I say purse? I don't even know. Um, so I have like different color purses. I do have like my neutral purses. So gray, so black, um, and brown, but I also have a few, um, purses that are just like a pop of color. Like I have a, um, a burgundy purse. I have a pink one. I have a green one. Um, I have a blue one. So those are like pops of color. And I, don't ask me why I have pink a pink purse because I don't have really anything pink in my wardrobe. But when you use, a, if you wear all black or all one color and then you have that pink purse, it does pop. I'm just telling you. <laughs> it works. And so, okay. Then you can do, um, let's see. I did a statement bottom. But let's do a statement bottom, a state, a basic top, and then outerwear. So let's do these pants because these are the only printed pants that I brought out here. <laughs> Even though I do have other printed pants. Does anyone else like printed pants? I like. Printed He's a regular person so long. I have a <laughs> diaper bag. Oh my gosh, I remember. <laughs> my life was in my diaper bag. <laughs> but you can also get like really nice, fashionable diaper bags nowadays. For real. Okay, so a lot of people think that 
with these pants, you can't really wear a lot with them. Most people would probably just go to black, right? What other colors would you use with it? Do you think can go with these pants? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> because I'm here to tell you that all of these can go with these pants. So, if you got a gray top, you can totally do a gray top with this. And then dress it up or down or something. You got the blue. Yeah, who would have thunk it? White, olive, yep. Yeah, because the camo pants would be considered a neutral. You can wear the red. I really love wearing my red with this. I know it's red and green, but it's not Christmas colors, red and green. And then you can totally mix prints with it. And that's just with this pair of pants. There's four outfits. And all of these, aside from my red, because this is my pop of color, but all of these others are my essentials, my basics. Um, and, you can, and you can totally do that. Khaki, olive red, yeah, white, yep, yep. But notice, I didn't do an olive shirt with the pants. Not because I can't, but because I don't have an olive shirt. <laughs> but, and this is a way to kind of dress it up as well. Like, you can dress up um, camo pants. And then I would wear that with this, with these sandals. I don't know. I don't know if y'all noticed that I keep reaching for these because these are my favorite sandals. <laughs> but um, yeah, and I will wear this together. And then you can do, um, you can, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Um, you can do a necklace like that, or you can even do a shorter one because the buttons here actually brings everything to the center and makes you look longer. That's what I meant by it's a whole nother thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, and this is more of a cream color shirt. So, and then of course I could, these are pretty much the same colors from before, but now you have a button down shirt with it and um, or a sweater with it, or, you know, the cream sweater, or, hey, I want, I want to do my pop of color. This is a darker or a brighter red. Yeah, brighter red. <laughs> um, but all that, I don't know, how many outfits did I do? I don't even know. Like, maybe 15? And that's not even touching everything that's over here, but also everything that's in my closet. <laughs> but, the, and this is not even the list of all the basics that you could possibly have. Like I didn't use my black t-shirt. I didn't use, um, let me see, a white button down. I didn't use um, really any of jeans, my boyfriend jeans. Um, I didn't use the jean jacket like, you could totally do this sweater because it's sweater weather. Sweater weather. Sweater weather, guys. Sweater weather. Um, I know I watch too much of SNL. And then you can throw on jean jacket. How cute is this? I think I might wear it tomorrow. I'm just saying. <laughs> and then you can throw on, you know, your necklace or bracelet or you don't even have to put on a necklace, but I just feel like when you throw on a necklace, um, just get like one statement necklace, two simple necklaces, one short, one long. It just brings, it just levels up 
your game, right? <laughs> Hot date, yes. <laughs> just brings it up. You level up, guys. I'm just trying to get you to level up. <laughs> and like all of this stuff, to me, everything that I'm putting up here is super comfortable. Like shoes or whatever, like so that one, that one with the jacket, if you are going on a hot date, bam, throw these on. But if you're just like, I'm about to kick it around the house, just throw on these or, you know, just run an errands, just throw on these, you know, like it's, we kind of make things harder than they need to be <laughs> when it comes to fashion. Um, if we just think of like what is comfortable for us, what do we absolutely love and just walk in that in confidence and just own it like I don't know if, if y'all really like these camel pants but I'm really settling them like it's the best thing since hot since sliced bread I mean cuz I love them <laughs> and as long as you love what you wear then who cares what anybody else thinks and I'm pretty sure I mean I've seen people that you know I'm like okay well I wouldn't necessarily wear that but that, because that's not my personality. But then you talk to them, they're like, yeah, that's totally you. You, you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bright colors, different patterns, but they're going out and they're confident in it because they know that that outfit speaks, speaks their language. It's telling people who they are as soon as they walk out. So I think, I didn't even put my watch on today. Um, okay, so it's 1140. That's pretty much it. I, we went over like maybe 15 outfits and four formulas. I'll go over the formulas again. It is, yes, yes, right. <laughs> it's the basics and a statement piece, or which could be the shirt or, you know, like, or the necklace, whichever. Um, it's mixing textures and mixing um, patterns, different fabrics, different patterns. Um, it is monochrome. When you wear monochrome, <laughs> you're welcome, Suzanne. Um, and then the basic top uh, statement bottoms and then like a statement jacket or sweater. So those are your four um, formulas. Of course, there are a bajillion other formulas out there. Those are just four to get you started. And I cannot wait to see what you guys do with the looks that you are going to, you know, like kind of emulate in the um, comments from yesterday. I want to see more of Natalie. That was awesome. I liked <laughs> your outfit. That was really cool. And it's your take. I just want to see like where, like, how can I put this into my style? How can I make this outfit speak for me? Um, because we see things on other people that we absolutely adore, but we're just like, mm, I don't know. That's just not my, that's not my style, but you can make those styles into your own. So, um, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Uh, this homework today is to create three outfits <laughs> with what you already have. You know, like I want to see your creativity come out. And you can start with the basis of those four formulas. Try in those four formulas. And then let's see what you come up with. I cannot wait to see them. I'm so excited. Okay. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for participating. I love you guys. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.